Hey guys, this is Argatha, and today I'm going to teach you how to crack the turtle. Now you've probably seen this one a lot. They cast a firewall, they double ward fire, and they heal behind it. And then you try to break that with some opposing element, be it death or cold, and they'll switch. And they'll keep switching between these walls and healing behind it about as fast as you can switch spells it's really difficult to break through and if you're using sprays because they are constant DPS and you are and you know they're not bad DPS but because they're constant DPS you're only getting a couple ticks in and then they've got a wall up that blocks that and then they ward it and they heal through it and you gotta switch the spray that you're using and then you hit them with cold and you're barely doing any damage to them and they're heal they're out healing it very easily but there's a way to break through that and deal significant damage at the same time and the way you do that is ice and lightning so what's going on here is somebody casts a wall like let's say they cast the the EDR I can charge up QRQ and follow up with ARA and I can do some pretty good damage to them. Now if they cast an EDR then they're probably warded cold so I'll hit them with QRQ and ASA. The reason this works is because when you cast ice Two of the two, uh, there are four shards that are cast, and two of the shards fly faster than the other two shards. And they're typically the ones that are on the out, the outermost edge of the sp uh, spread, and they're the least accurate ones. So you have the benefit of the least accurate ones will hit the center of the wall first, and then the most accurate ones because they trail behind those two leading shards are going to go through after that wall is gone and hit your opponent. And you're not lo you're not losing a lot of damage from those two missing ice shards because there are dim diminishing returns for hitting somebody with several ice shards at the same time. So those two shards aren't going to add a whole lot of damage anyway. The other benefit is because you broke down that wall, when you immediately follow up with lightning, the lightning can actually go through that space and hit your opponent. So when they cast this, that lightning goes straight through that wall and hits your opponent. And the only thing that you really need to know as far as breaking through that is which type of ice to use. It doesn't really matter what type of lightning you use. You just need to use the right type of ice. Rather, you need to not use the wrong type of ice. So for each wall, there's one type of ice that you don't want to use. Now again, ice is just water and cold. You can add death to it. You can add an extra water to it. Or you can add an extra cold to it. You can add an extra life to it, of course, but that doesn't help you at all. So we're going to cover water, death, and fire. So for the firewall, you cannot break it with QRQ. You can't break it with water ice. Now with the cold wall, you can't break it with cold ice. And for the death wall, you can't break it with death ice. And lastly, with the water wall, you can't break it with water ice. Now, of course, there's also the life wall, but all of the walls, or all of the ice forms that damage, are going to break through that. Now, there's another way to crack turtles. Double ward earth, and you are immune to the pushback from walls. Secondly, steam, water, and fire will shred absolutely 
every wall in the game. So all you have to do is double ward earth and cast QFF. That's steam with extra fire and it's going to do more damage. So you walk up to them and you spray this spell at them and they're going to try to cast a wall to push you away but they can't because you're double warded earth. So you're immune to that pushback while you're moving forward and shredding every wall that they try to put up. Now what they're going to do most likely because it's their only their it's their only best option is to spray you away with water so what you want to do is hit them with fire now the reason is so as as soon as you break through that wall and you get within range before they have a chance and this takes a little bit of timing and it really depends on the opponent and their reflexes but as soon as you are capable you need to hit them with fire fire lightning is a good option it's fast it's immediate and it doesn't even, I mean, you can just do AF if it's, if it's that much faster. Just hit them with fire. Now, the reason is, is because they're going to push you away. But because you're double warded earth, it's going to be harder for them to push you away. So it's going to take longer for them to push you a distance far enough that they can safely cast another wall that will actually slow you down and they can heal. So while they're spending all of that time trying to push you away they're on fire and they're taking damage and they're not healing so if you do that you double ward earth you go in with fire or you go in with steam and then you hit them with fire which as you can see does a lot of damage as long as you get that fire dot on them you're gonna be good you're going to have an advantage even if he pushes you away, as long as you get him on fire, you're going to have an advantage when that's done. Now, then you're going to be wet, so you're not going to be able to cast lightning again, so you need to do something about that. Now, you can double ward water, and then they're going to have trouble because they can't just push you away. They're going to be on the defensive because they just took some fire damage, and they're not making pro they're, you know, they're not healing back up again. And then you can just walk in with fire, or steam and you can break through those walls and as soon as you get close enough hit them with this and then go back to uh, ice and lightning combos so basically when you're fighting somebody who's trying to turtle switch between use ice and lightning and if they switch to a ward where you are just not capable of doing a significant enough amount of damage with that combo then you switch to double water, uh, double earth move in with steam hit them with fire they're gonna push you away and then you just keep doing it over and over again so that's pretty much it those are the two mainly most effective uh, tactics against a turtle and I hope you guys practice this and I hope it is helpful to you and definitely play around with the different combos of ice and lightning. For instance, uh, water ice plus death lightning is going to do a lot of damage. But water ice plus cold lightning is actually going to do a little bit more damage and get them cold. But it's not going to be effective if they're warded cold because they're going to take half damage from that element. So again, just play around with the different combinations and you need to because you're going to need to, depending on their ward, pick the combo of ice and lightning that's going to damage them the most. So again, I hope this was helpful to you and I hope you practice these things and understand uh, the mechanics involved, why they work and how best to use them. So until next time, thank you for watching and I'll catch you later.